So I'm making a video on how to install PSMDT and one of the dependencies is PS Dispatch. So I'll be showing you guys how to install that and how to set some things up. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource and once you're here we're going to hit the green code and download zip. I'll also mention there's a lot of helpful information in the readme section as far as changing alerts, creating alerts, and making things department specific. But once that's done, we're going to open it up and we're also going to open our server resources. And then we're going to drag what we downloaded in and remove the main from the end. After that, we're going to go to the server CFG and ensure the resource. Okay, after that, we're going to hit file and save and go back to the resource to see what options are available. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go into the sound folder, copy all three of these, then we're going to go to interact sounds, so go back to your resources, go to standalone, interact sounds, client, HTML, sounds, and then we're going to paste what we just copied. Then we're going to go back to the resource and look at the options in the config. So in the config, there's some stuff you can change. Most of it I'll be leaving alone. The first thing is the respond key. Basically, when a call comes in, you can press a button and it attaches you and sets a waypoint on the GPS. You can change it to whatever you want. I'll leave it to E. The next thing is the alerts. So if you want people to get alerts if they're on and off duty, you can keep it at false. I'm going to set it to true. And then we're going to skip down to the default alerts. There's speeding, shooting, theft, melee. Basically, if these things are happening, the police will get an alert for it. I'm going to disable the speeding. If you want speed traps, keep it on, but just keep in mind, if you have multiple people speeding, you'll be getting alerts all around the map. The rest of it is just job checks and colors for the vehicle, so I won't be touching any of that. If you did change stuff, make sure you hit file and save, and then we'll move on to the next part. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the default alerts to the PS Dispatch version. There are a lot of replacements, so I'll use the Soul Robbery one as an example. I've attached what you'll need to replace it in the description. So go to your server resources, go into the QB folder, and locate QB Soul Robbery. Go into the client section, and then open the main. And then once we're here, we're going to find line 90. And then copy what I put in the description and replace it. Then we fix this. Then we're going to find line 151 and 168. And again, copy what's in the description and replace it. Okay, and 168 and 151 should be the same. After that, we're going to hit File and Save. Then you can start your server and test it out. Alright, so we're in the server and I do have Lockfix. So we'll go to one of the registers and I'll attempt to lockpick it. And there's the alert coming in. And there we go. Now that is it for the video. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. And if you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.